Welcome back to Shem's Universe. So we're starting a new chapter, guys. I'm going to discuss the moon signs inside real astrology. So this moon sign is like your sun sign in Western astrology. Um, the reason I say that is because they put a much higher emphasis on the moon sign in comparison to your solar sign. Um, we always look at our sun sign the day we're born, where that falls along, blah, blah, blah. But they care more about the moon sign because they know that's responsible for our emotive responses, what they call the emotional body, um, our immune system, how we're going to subconsciously think. And these things are affected by um, what house the moon sign is in and then what planetary influence is over and of course what zodiac sign is governing it. So this is going to change a lot of different aspects of who you are, what you do, etc. And if you know what this sign is, you can then start understanding what kind of affirmations you need to give yourself you're going to better understand how to actually take better care of yourself in regards to health like exercising diet nourishment and it's also going to fill in the clues for like maybe you had a bad early family life maybe you didn't have the best relationship with your mother this will actually tell you why or like what exactly is going to happen even if you're looking up somebody who's like a baby or something they'll be able to show you exactly what that sort of relationship is going to look like with that person's mother etc so the moon sign inside real does tell you about a lot um like i said it depends what house it's in it depends um where it falls in regards to what zodiac sign is with the moon and then what the planetary influence is this is going to affect a lot of different things about your life your health your well-being um and very much well like even your lifespan these guys go that in depth um, inside real i'm not going to go into that during this chapter like lifespans and so forth that's something else to discuss in the future when we get to more complex topics um, but this is definitely where i'm going to be going from for this following week in a bit we're going to be going into what exactly these signs um mean and i want to also discuss like what happens when you have a planet um with some of these signs as well so it's going to be a little more in depth than the sun sign chapter for side real i just want to make sure you guys do have a full understanding of the concepts and what exactly it means to you so if you guys have any questions before i continue on with this chapter just please just let me know in the comments um, but aside from that guys i will be starting tomorrow with the moon signs going into a lot more depth um, but let me know if you guys have any questions any observations or anything you'd like to share in general in the comments aside from that guys like subscribe holly meets every day guys peace